If you're like me who doesn't change smartphones very often and wants the device to serve for more than a couple of years, then besides saving your smartphone from heavy landings, you should also be thinking about preserving your phone's battery. The battery is the fastest degrading component on your phone. If you buy a high-end smartphone, in a few years your biggest problem won't be an unbearably slow phone, but a phone that's quick to discharge. Replacing a battery these days is quite burdensome as the majority of them are integrated, and after several years getting an original replacement can be a difficult task as well. So it makes sense to try and preserve your phone's battery as much as you can even if you do change your smartphone often, as the battery can degrade around 20% after 400 charging cycles, one cycle being when you charge from 0 to 100%. If you charge your phone daily, then that's just a little over a year. As the battery loses capacity, your smartphone becomes less and less reliable, which isn't fun during travel or even day-to-day -day use, as you eventually need to start carrying around a charger or a power bank. Here are 7 tips to help preserve your battery, so you could enjoy using your smartphone as long as possible. Number 1. Avoid excessive heat or cold. Batteries are sensitive to extreme temperatures. Avoid leaving your phone up in the sun during summer or throw your phone around in the snow during the winter. If you heat up a battery, it increases the connectivity of ions inside and you can get some extra charge of it. This explains that old trick where you would rub your battery in jeans to heat it up and you would get some extra charge out of it. But the trade-off of running a battery at higher temperatures is that it wears off much quicker. Cold on the other hand reduces the connectivity of ions in the battery and at minus 18 degrees Celsius it loses half of its capacity compared to room temperature. So avoid extreme temperatures to keep your battery safe. Number 2. Don't fully discharge and don't charge to 100%. Old batteries had a memory so to say. If you didn't charge it to 100%, it would shrink its capacity. Nowadays, this isn't true anymore, and actually charging your battery to 100% is not a good idea. Ideally, you should aim at 90-95%, as charging those last few percents takes the longest. Extra heat accumulates during charging and this wears off the battery. Also, fully discharging your battery isn't good. Ideally, you should want to start charging it at 15%. Number 3. Turn off fast charging. Fast charging is great when you are in a rush and need your battery charged ASAP, but fast charging is not good for your battery's longevity. So if you're like me and leave your phone charging during the night, then you should turn fast charging off. There is a battery setting in new Android phones. For my phone it takes around an hour to fully charge with fast charge and around 2 without it, so it's not even that slow. And obviously when you are in a rush, you can always turn fast charging on. Number 4. Turn on power saving mode. If your battery lasts you longer and you don't need to charge it as often, then you will be going through those battery cycles slower and keeping your battery in good shape for longer. So smartly managing battery power is a good idea. One such option is the battery saving mode. New generation phones have a ton of different levels of power saving that turn off a lot of functions on your phone, but the idea is to set such settings that wouldn't impact your experience with the phone. High-end phones have very powerful processors that are unnecessary for day-to-day -day use, so you can set them to run at 70% capacity or lower without even noticing. Number 5. Minimize your screen brightness. The display is the most energy draining component on your phone. Setting your screen brightness lower helps you save battery power and also helps avoid migraines. Number 6. Use dark mode if you have AMOLED display. If you have a new smartphone with an AMOLED display then turning on the dark mode on your phone actually saves energy and looks a lot cooler as well. AMOLED displays produce the black color pixels by not being on so this is how they save energy. Number 7. Turn off unnecessary services. This last tip is a very generic one. Turn off services like Bluetooth or NFC if you don't use them. 
Check for apps running in the background as well as they can secretly drain your phone without you even noticing. Also turn off notifications on unnecessary apps as those vibrations and beeping sounds are hell annoying and also consume a bit of electricity. If you don't use it, don't need it, then turn it off. In most phones you can check what apps are draining your battery the most. There you have it. These are the main ways to ensure that your battery is going to last you as long as possible and to make sure that the reason why you buy a new phone isn't a dead swollen battery. Which one of these tips was new for you and you are planning to implement? Let me know in the comments below.